All right, this is one of those stories that just uh, instantly I go BS. 18-year-old student from uh, San Francisco. Um, she's uh, apparently her name is uh, Asia Kerr. Definitely um, uh, like South Asian ethnicity, and uh, invents something like super duper amazing. Um, Twenty second recharge capacitor. This thing has the ability to charge a phone in 20 to 30 seconds flat. They say 20 seconds flat, but it's actually 20 to 30 seconds when you go to the Intel website. And she won $50,000 from the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. Apparently, there was another person from Romania who won the jackpot price of $75,000. And they apparently built a car that would uh, be viable in terms of protecting its driver from getting into accidents by having automatic or like remote or sort of like um, uh, these radar features that would drive the car automatically and if in case the person was intoxicated or not making the right decision it would make the decision for you maybe and apparently it's only it's only gonna cost fourteen uh, four thousand dollars and this guy is 19 she is 18 and they're coming up with stuff that everybody's like what look at this the super capacitor is flexible flexible people that means you can put it anywhere in any shape or form and tiny and is able to handle 10,000 recharge cycles that's 10 times more than any battery that is in the market right now so any the most expensive batteries in the market 10 times the recharging cycles and it recharges the phone in 20 seconds imagine the possibilities that this will have on a car that means if this is true because i call bullshit as soon as i hear these 18 year old kids talking about all kinds of stuff i'm thinking there's no way they did it themselves there's got to be parents involved in my personal opinion then i'm thinking what if it's just you know okay they hit some kind of a idea or something and they built some sort of a simple prototype which works at that level only so as soon as you start to expand it, as soon as you start to uh, think about mass producing it or to use it in cars, for example, then it's like, oh, it's not feasible because it only works at that tiny level. You know, it's uh, one of those inventions, in my personal opinion. So that's why I think we'll never, ever hear about it. But if we do, holy crap, imagine the face of the planet is going to change because right now we have these cars, the electric cars and stuff, hybrids and all that stuff. They're weighing an extra 1,000 pounds just because of the batteries. Just because of the batteries, we have to wait for eight hours just to charge the battery. If this is going to reduce a cell phone's charging time from three to four hours to 20 seconds, could it also change the recharging time of a car from eight hours to like, what, one minute? Holy crap, that's gonna be freaking amazing. That's gonna be, and 10,000 charge cycles? 10,000 times you can recharge it and it it's extremely flexible and tiny that means it could be stored in the freaking door panels it could be part of the seat it could be part of the windshield the roof it, i mean the whole car could be made of this stuff and you know, the whole car becomes a battery basically and then you could be like having super light cars going super fast with unlimited amount of energy that you can recharge in like freaking 1 minute Unbelievable.